Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon and you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Reading facing Sheffield Wednesday. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre-season. All aimed for this game. First game... of the season all that preparation is for this it's for this 90 minutes focus on it get the three points move on to the next one looking forward to it a glance at the reading starting 11 Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5 3 2. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Well, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. Iorfa. Well, much has been made of the way our hosts like to press high up the pitch, really force errors. Lee, can we anticipate seeing more of the same today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It's very effective. I mean, if you press as a team, all it takes is one errant pass or a poor first touch and you're in trouble. Obviously, you have to be very, very fit to maintain that over 90 minutes. But in the modern game, that's a basic expectation. And there's been a goal at Craven Cottage. Alan McAnally can provide the details. Alan. It's a goal for Fulham. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Well, this is the day. His debut forthcoming, and it's going to be interesting to see what he produces. What do you think we should expect to see from him, Lee? Yeah, all eyes will be focused on him today. He's got all the attributes in a wide player I used to hate playing against. And his biggest desire is to make the fullback look silly. He could pick out a teammate. A poor cross, all things considered. Pele, Ejaria. Terrific block there. He must finish. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. It looks promising. Read it superbly to take back possession. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Miazga. Pele. I understand a goal has been scored at Loftus Road. Let's hear about it from Allen. It's a goal for Queen's Park Rangers. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Got away with it then, despite that poor first touch. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Swift. Ejaria. And given away. Lucas Boyer. They could nudge in front. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. and he's broken free well they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper that was inspirational well that's as good as a goal at the other end brilliant save from the keeper 
and firing it into the area foiling them effectively and let's go to Alan McAnally because there's been a goal in the Swansea game Alan it's a goal for Swansea City 28 minutes played 1-0 cheers again Alan and he's made headway it has to be surely and a goal it is the opener in this game well keep it tight that's what both managers would have been insane but now the opening goal's gone in tactics have got to change Well, here it is. How do you like him? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Swift. What a shocking pass, really. The visitors are struggling with possession, really, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. In a position from opportunity it is. There's no escaping the fact that they really should be two in front. Well, you look back at games sometimes and you say, when was the defining moment? That could have been it. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed out. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Chance to attack using wit. Boyer has it. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. He's protecting it effectively. Looks promising, this. And the possession lost, intercepted. Well, a moment he would dearly love to have back. Well, listen, he's tried to hit it too hard. Just relax a little bit, focus on your technique. Pele, Swift, Ejaria. Obita. Liam Moore. Jordan Obita. Swift. This looks promising. Clumps clear. This might pay dividends. <laughs> Wonderful chance. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, it should be over. That goes in and there's no way back. The crowd can sense that too. They're doing their bit. Dangerous looking attack. Real chance. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Please. Iorfa has the ball. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Anderson. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. keeper would have been disappointed had he not dealt with it well he's given a corner the referee and he's fired over the corner not all that convincing defensively aware of the threat solving the problem 
A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Reading taking on Hull City. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Wonderfully weighted pass. He's in position. Still possibilities. Pelé. More championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Sheffield Wednesday versus Barnsley. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, big news for PSG fans. They've got their manly. Well, what does £65 million pounds get you? I'm hearing that's about the figure they paid for him. He's worth a lot more than that, I think. I think he's a real treasure. Let's see how he performs over the next few games. That's a very impressive piece of defending. It's there for him! Almost what you might call a jaw drop. Save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. And now the delivery. The cross is on. Ejaria. Swift. He takes aim. Tremendous block. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Yadom. Ejaria. He's protecting it effectively. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Swift. Obita. He's taken on his opponent here. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. And possession lost, intercepted. On the ball, Luongo. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Regained possession. Pushkash. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. And the cross goes in. And a harmless cross gobbled up. Well, someone has scored at the Stoke City Stadium. Let's hear about the goal. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Stoke City. 75 minutes played. 3-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Obita. This attack looks highly promising. Delivered into the area here. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Jordan Obita. Ejaria. The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Only ten minutes remaining here. And that was a very fine read. Well, listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans are doing their bit, trying to spur them on for the equaliser. I must say, this looks promising. Can he deliver accurately? Ejaria. Targets available. Cross comes in. They've regained possession. 
And let's go to Alan McAnally because there's been a goal in the Swansea game. Alan? It's a third goal for Swansea City. Four minutes remain. 3 1. Cheers again, Alan. Must score! The goalkeeper was. called upon and they still have an opportunity here well there's a goal down all you've got to do is give your strikers a chance to get back in the game so the corner played into the box and a goal kick will be next and only two minutes remaining here couldn't keep the ball Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Chance to attack using wit. It needs an accurate cross. Two minutes of added time. Shot attempted. Whatever it takes to keep them out. And the referee's whistle. That is the end of the...